All right, dog. We're going to end this motherfucker like we always do. Showing love and shouting out. Yeah. yeah. Tell you who you shouting out, dog. Mine might go a little bit left, like some of my shout outs usually do. Okay. But I'm going to bring it home. I'm going to bring it home because, you know, a lot of times we get caught up with celebrity, celebrities. And, you know, we get caught up in all the, the glitz, glamour, the, the fame and everything, you know. But I got some things. I got some got some things across my feed about a certain individual that's popular, popular female rapper. Who, you know, she been she been everywhere. She's been all across your TV screen. Folks going to Popeye's now for that sauce she got out. OK. And. uh but it boils back down to something that she promised she would do for a mother. You know, for about on, on her mother's wishes. She she wanted to grant her mother's wishes. And that was graduating from college. Mm -hmm. And that's one Tina Snow, aka Megan Thee Stallion. Okay. I, I just want to give her flowers, man. You know, I know a lot of people won't really just put it out there, talk about it, talk about it, you know, for real, for real. But I believe the story as I read it was she wanted to rap. Mm -hmm. that, that was her thing. That was her passion. Now, mama was like, okay, you can get out here and you can rap. But if it's going to become a thing and you about to blow and your college takes a hit, you got to promise me you're going to get that degree. Mm -hmm. And she did it. She did it. She got the degree. And so, you know, it just... Just being able for her, just to be able to, from the human side of it, just looking at somebody that you know made it, made a promise to her mama that she that she, and kept it, and got that piece of paper, even though she don't truthfully don't really need that piece of paper because she 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 paid now, mm -hmm. but just to be able to say, "Mama, I did this on your wishes," yeah, you know, I think that's just a shout out in general, man. To any and anybody out there, man, you know, if you go drive, you drive to do something for you know somebody. You you promise somebody you're gonna do something, and you do it, especially something of that magnitude. I don't really know. She that may have been the first degree in her family. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm one. I'm a kid. My parents didn't go to college. You know, well, my mama did one year, but neither one of them have degrees. Their their highest degree was high school. So I always was driven to finish and get a four year degree. So it's just those, those kind of things, man. I think I just I just I just found it great. I mean, being that. She's type of has the type of stardom and fame that she has right now, but to just be able to go do that, I gotta give respect to that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Tina Snow. Hopefully that's hopefully they don't call her Megan the Stallion at the doggone graduation. Hopefully. But if they do, whatever. But you know, I just wanted to shout that out though. Okay. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. You know what I'm talking about? And shout out to Tony. Long live my boy Tony Snow. Right, long live the pimp, Chad right. Butler. Right, right, as right. Well, you know what I'm saying. Since you're shouting out Tina Snow, I just want to throw that in there. That's no my doubt, call. no doubt. But uh, I want to shout out a Mississippi basketball icon, uh, Coach Lafayette Stribler. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be one hundred about something. I didn't know a lot about his coaching accolades. Right. Until I got ready to do this shout out. I've been in the building with him many times. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Being a former basketball coach, uh, you know what I'm saying? And being able to be in some uh, pretty good tournaments and uh, being in some state uh playoff games and things like that and of course he was in the building he yeah. always would be dapper decked out decked, decked. out hell decked. look shit i fucked up i was in the mall with my bride right and uh i saw some outlandish goddamn uh suit and i took a picture of the shit 
and sent it to the, the guy I was coaching with at the time, uh, uh Anthony Carlisle, who was the head coach. And I was like, hey, man, let's dress like street up this year. I'm just talking shit. Right. This motherfucker thought I was serious. Right, right. And decided to roll with it. And that year, we ended up being in shirt and tie. Like, it dress we ended up being suits that year. Right. When the previous year, we were just in, like, you know, some regular gear. Right. But he thought I was serious. Like, no, we're going to get decked out like street up. Because if you know Coach Stribbler, let's say you never saw him coach. And I don't think I ever saw him coach a game. Mm -hmm. But I saw his fits. And I saw that. I saw how other coaches, I saw how folks in Mississippi basketball, I saw how Mississippi media responded to this man when this man was around. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. you were... You just knew you were around somebody. Yeah, you, yeah he lit it up. You were around somebody. He like like he lit shit up. And it, it ain't just his damn fit. It ain't like they were laughing at the fit. It's like, it's some shit go with the fit as well. Mm -hmm. It's several state titles go with the fit yep. on the high school level, boys and girls. Yep. It it's it's uh uh being the winningest coach in Valley, Mississippi Valley State history mm -hmm. going with the fits and having the court named after you mm -hmm. going with the fit it's having a 136 and 56 record at Tougaloo College going with the fit mm -hmm. so it wasn't like the man was just it, oh it's being a Mississippi Sports Hall of Famer going with the fit being a SWAC Hall of Famer going with the fit being a Mississippi Valley Sports Hall of Famer going with the fit. Like, the motherfucker accomplished, too, to yep. go with the goddamn fits. Yep. So I wanted to make, make sure I shout him out, man, because he recently passed away. And I'm, uh, it, it, it pissing me off to say that I, I didn't know a lot about just his coaching career, per se. I know about like like guys like Thomas Billups. Like that's my when we growing up, we hear them. those guys, those legendary coaches and stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But even with a, a Thomas Billups, like I when I watch the NBA draft, I see John Calipari get to sit there with the boy, a boy he spent six months with, who just uber talented. He came to him as like a five star, just loaded with with shit. Yeah. But Coach K. Gets to like take credit for a Zion who spent six months with him, came to him 300 pounds, jump out of the gym, Ready. left the same way, you know, yep. got to leave. And these guys just get all this credit, but guys like Lafayette Stribling and, and Coach Thomas Billups, like the on. masses don't end up knowing their names, bro. And yep. they spend all this time with these guys, whether it be in high school, spending four years grooming them, whether it be in college, probably. You know, you you coaching in a swag D boy probably staying four years. You grooming them, you know what I'm saying? And if they right. make it to the league or they make it to a uh, European ball or something like that, you've done a hell of a job. Yeah. But the masses don't end up knowing their name. But around here in Mississippi, we respect and we affectionately call him Strip. Yep. So I wanted to make sure I shouted him out. Yeah, man. And long live forever. Yep. Coach Stria. Yep. But America, we appreciate y'all for fucking with us. Please yeah. continue to do so. Please continue to follow us across all social media platforms. Facebook, put it on some that's Instagram. Put it on some that's uh, Twitter, P-I-O-S underscore 100. Uh, follow me and my brother Tim G.J. across all social media platforms. Make sure you check out the description. You will see where to follow me particularly. Uh, and please, America, if you're fucking with us on the Jackson State segments or, or, or our shout outs, you know what I'm talking about, please, you know what I'm saying, give us a chance on the NBA joints and the NFL joints, you know what I'm talking about, we bring the same energy and we uh, we, we really bring in more, no, more uh, knowledge than these motherfuckers on ESPN and the FS1 because they just talk the shit. They just trying to get a Braun fan versus a goddamn uh, Braun troll. They're trying to get a Cowboy fan 
versus the cowboy troll and just roll with it. That's yep. not what we do. No time about. But uh, we appreciate y'all for fucking with us. Please continue to do so and please continue to fuck with Staple T. That Staple T, every t shirt you wear makes a statement. Makes yep. a statement, excuse me. Yep. As always, one. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's StatementTees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.